Today, we're going to answer the question that nobody asked. Can you make citizens only travel via a helicopter? Yes, guys, yes, we're back with another City Skyline experimental video where I'm going to build three islands. One for work, one for shopping, and one for industry. And what we're going to do is to only allow these peeps to travel from island to island, we're going to implement helicopters as part of the brand new DLC pack. We're going to see how efficient it is and just truly if we can create a world where the only transport is from island to island via a helicopter. Like I said, guys, I'm answering the question no one has asked. <laughs> and if you do enjoy this, guys, please smash that like button down below. And if you want to see more experiments, let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you are notified when the next video comes out. So what we're going to do then is we're going to create three islands. Uh, one for work, one for residents, one for industry. We'll get it all set up where, you know, they've all got all their needs. And then we'll add in the transport options before we officially start moving them in. Now, to get them to the actual islands, I'm also going to have to create on the main kind of land piece over here um, a, a transport option too, which is also going to be freaking helicopters. Now, the helicopters are in the played section. They come as part of the new DLC of the Sunset Harbour. We have the helicopter depot. Uh, we have the helicopter stop as well. I'm not actually sure, because I haven't really tested it or kind of looked into it that much, what the capacity of a helicopter is. If it turns out to be like five, <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long experiment. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's create some islands then. And let's pick the same level about here. Make it a larger brush size so we get to work with it. And let's go with a little island here. There we go. little wiggle. There we go. We'll do a little island just here. There we go, boys. And then we'll do a little island just over here. Ooh, fancy. Right, okay. So we'll smoothen them off then. There we go. So it looks a little bit more natural, even though it's not natural at all. And then we'll wait for the water to have a hissy fit. And then we'll reset the sea level. Boom! Oh, did I not press it? Boom! There we go. Magic. I need, like, proper fast forward. And I think we could be all good. Right. Nice. Okay. So we've got our three official islands now set up. We'll go with the big one here for being residential. We'll do the next biggest one in industrial. And then the smaller one commercial, which is going to be a lot of fun. So we've got to set all this up then. There's no need for me to go down the route of going like, we need big roads, small roads. It's just literally going to be what I can fit in. So... To a certain extent, we're going to create a grid and then spiral it all off. Unless I kind of go around the boundaries. Would that work better? Hmm. Hmm. I think it might. So, why don't we kind of go around the boundary of the island. Uh, there we go. And then we'll create a, a grid within the boundary. Sounds about right. Oh, what happened there? I pressed the wrong button, boy. Right. In we go. There we go. That is the boundary of one. Then I could really fine-tune it and push it right against the edges. <laughs> How big is a helicopter stop? Okay, okay, okay. So it should be able to fit in within a grid format. So let me pick... Okay, I'll pick this here. Do I pick this side as being the grid format? Yeah, why not? And we'll run straight up. There we go. And then we'll pick... Ooh, that's not exactly how I want it to go. Boom. Boom. Ooh, this is going beautiful already. Ooh, is this island made for a grid? Possibly. And... I'm thinking as well, because I don't know what the capacity of a helicopter is going to be. Um, how many helicopter stops do I want to have multiple routes? I might have multiple routes in general, like two routes to each island. You know, back and forth and all that. We'll see how it goes. Now, does a helicopter... Okay, it fits in there perfect, so I ain't got to worry about spacing and sizing. 
it's going to work wonderful. Right, so now we're getting that little bit of a slight degree turn, but that's okay. We'll get this island all set up. And this is going to be our residential island. There we go. Might as well bring it all the way to the top, boy. Might as well bring it all the way to the top. Right, we'll just go there. Because that's all we can really do on that. Boom. And there we go. We have a nice, orderly fashioned grid. <laughs> Let's see what it would be like if I um, pushed it right to the edges. Right, ignore the fact that what I've done in the middle. I'm just kind of fine tuning it to the road. And then in here. Or push it out a bit more. Let me reduce that brush size. And it's taken us that long that, you know what? The grass has decided, you know what, boy? I'm going to grow. There we go. There we go. So I want to do this to the, all the other islands. Smoothing that little section there off. We'll do this to all the other islands. And then we're pretty much ready to start zoning and moving them in. This is going to be one hell of an experiment. Right, islands are set up. We've got water. We just haven't put in any of the stations in just yet. But let's now add in where we're going to have the helicopter stops. So I think then we'll have two routes to each island. So basically, I want two stops on each island, pretty much. So I think we'll start with one. One about here. And I do one there to cover like both ends of the island. And we kind of do that to both sides so one there and I'll do one just there and we'll do one there if I can squeeze that in let's put it this side and one just there okay so there we go let me get the helicopter route right now where is it there it is and we'll hook this one to there and to there and that back to there right We'll hook this one to there and back up to there. This one to there to there. So we have pretty much one route each side. But then we want to combine them in different ways as well. But we'll do that over time as things progress, if that makes sense. So we've pretty much got like a, a big revolving circle going around right now. And eventually I have one that will connect to all of them. Uh, like I said, we want two routes going back and forth. We've got two routes pretty much, but, you know, it, it's <laughs> it's going to be quite fun. <laughs> um, right, so that's all set up then. The place needs water and then we need to initially bring peeps in. So let's quickly set up over here. Quick roundabout. There we go. Let's just hook up the highway just here for the purpose of getting this little experiment working. We'll bring this all the way down to there. Nice. And then we'll get the helicopter depot added in over here. Where is it gone? Where is it gone, boys? Helicopter depot. There we go. So we'll drop that in there. And then we'll get a helicopter stop. On the opposite side. There we go. Over here as well, we'll handle all the water needs and stuff like that. So, a drop of one tower there should be fine. Uh, the advanced water treatment plant should be fine as well. And we need power, obviously. I'm going to just drop some wind turbines up here for these guys. So, connect, connect, connect. Right, push this right over to connect. The problem we're going to have is garbage. That's going to be a fun one. <laughs> um, but okay. So that's all connected then. Has power to provide water and sewage. So are we ready to move them in? Not quite, not quite, not quite. Um, we'll get them to be connected. Should we have a separate connection for bringing the influx of people in? I think so, because it's going to get overpowered, our current connections. Um, so, we'll have it over here. I'll have it just there. Because our current connections will just get overpowered. And we want them to be solely, um, for transport between islands. So, all they'll literally do, they'll get to there, they'll get off, and they'll walk to whatever one they want to go to. Now, let me just sort this depot out. Like that. So, now we have an official connection. So I've got to set up roots next anyway. Oh my goodness me. I'm, I'm hyped. I am kind of hyped right now. So there. 
to there and back. Right. Okay, pulls out a helicopter straight away. And the capacity is 20 people. Oh, my God. Right, this is going to be interesting, mate. Right, so there to there and back. There to there and back. There to there and back for now. So we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see how that progresses. Anyway, let's get then in this whole island. We'll zone it to residential. Um, which is the bigger islands. I say this one's a little bit fatter. That one, industrial. And this one will do low density commercial because they won't be educated enough at the moment. Right. With that said then, I'll be ready to test this experiment out. Are you ready to see a huge influx of people waiting simply at this helicopter stop here right now for helicopters to carry 20 people at a time? I'm going to have to low-key, like, freaking add, like, a gazillion helicopters to each line. Not so much these ones going back and forth, but just to get the initial people in at the start is going to be crazy. So we're also going to have to give them the needs. So police will do a small station on each island. Because that's really all that's needed. The same with the fire. Doesn't really matter where I place them. There we go. Uh, we'll do a small health clinic on, on each island as well. There we go. We'll do a crematorium on each island. So I'm just dotting them randomly because, again, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to need something to do with garbage. How am I going to do this? Now, I could do a small recycling plant, but it does pump out pollution. Do I go with, like, a, a pollution-free one? What's my pollution-free incinerator? That does provide power. Yeah, that could be a good one. How much, how much power? Up to 9 megawatts. And how much garbage capacity? See, it's not a lot, is it? Uh, do I go down this route of hooking this in? I'm going to have to. Add one of these to each island. Right, we're going to have to anarchy this one in. There we go. Just for the purpose of getting this freaking experiment up and running. Right, there we go. So once it starts collecting garbage, it will start producing power for each island. Right, helicopter is now coming in. Nice, mate. Nice. And then once they start getting power, then we should start seeing the influx of people coming in as well. This is going to be a long experiment just to get people moving in on the place. Uh, oh, these are already complaining. Oh, I just realized why that's not going to connect. Because, yeah, I, I get it. I get it, guys. I get it. Right, hold on. What's going on? Helicopter line. Why can't I place it? Oh, that's a stop. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, to there. To there. Alright, we just have to connect those lines in so it can release helicopters from the depot over here, which it's now doing. To get onto the other lines. Right! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, not all of these have water, apparently. Who else doesn't have water? Are we good? Hopefully. Right, so someone had a little bit of power then for a second. And we're still waiting for it to all pump through. So who has the power? Right, that one's producing power, kind of, to a certain extent. I've just now literally got to wait until it collects the garbage. Because I don't want to place any other power sources down just yet. If I have to, I might do the little wind turbines um, in the water. Uh, these. And if I do it like this, then they're all kind of intertwined and connected. Nice. And uh, <clears throat> now we're just waiting for that moment where they go, okay, it's time to move in. That's kind of what we're waiting for at that point. But it's got to get all the little connections set up, all the little helicopters on their route. Uh, we'll add in a couple of schools. Right, we'll add we'll anarchy the schools in. Just given the capacity and all that kind of stuff. 
So that's all in. It's just now a case of... Why is there no zoning over here? Has this road decided... Seniac. We don't want zoning! What's going on? Oh no, don't want to do that. Please don't do that, boy. That's very weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But we're getting one person, one population, guys. <laughs> right, it's actually happening. So these are going to complain. Literally, there's not enough workers for ages. They're going to complain for days right now. Um, guys, it's very important that we get people moving in. One person has decided to, to join us. But my issue is, I've only got 890,000 in the bank left. So, someone needs to move in pronto. And where is this one citizen? Have they made it yet? We have one, one person. But I don't know if we're going to even see him. This is hilarious. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a way to pull them in quicker. Yeah, I think so. Pause it. We'll have a train station just here. And then we'll just connect the line. Alright, ignore how awkward it is. Connect the line like that. Will that then bring people in a lot quicker? Just to get them here before... Yeah, there we go. We have sparked the growth. People are now going to be moving in in their, in their in droves right now. It's going to be kind of scary. But... It's going to really overwhelm our helicopters right now. <laughs> right, we're just waiting for a train. Okay, there's a train coming in. Okay, no, just passing. Just simply passing right now. Any other trains? There's that one gone. Um, I'm just kind of eyeballing the area for a freaking train right now. I mean, they could be arriving by car. It, it's weird. Um, guys, can we get a choo-choo? Your boy wants a choo-choo. Ah, there we go. There's a choo-choo coming in. Yes. Here we go, mate. So that's going to dump a load of people out, which they're going to choose to walk down. Oh, my God. Okay, here, here comes all the trains right now. This is ridiculous. Who is now going to all wait here and 20 by 20. <laughs> they're going to, uh... Go and move in. This is hell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the amount of people we got. What have I done? Some people we will, will be born. Become a child. Become an adult. Get old and die. All in the process of waiting for a helicopter. Because it's going to take that freaking long. Oh my god. This is a lot of people. This is a lot of people right now. I was not expecting this. Well, I was expecting this, but not the sheer amount of people we're seeing right now. Um, okay, so the island's making profit. But it's now a case of... We drop off here. People get out. And then they walk to... Which I'm assuming they're walking to this one, yeah. Because it's the one that goes transports them to um, the residential island. And then they can slowly live. And then anybody being transported over here, there's people on the... Okay, there's people now on all three islands. So it is working. It's just going to take a long, long time. So let's see these transport routes then. Let's see uh, what's cracker lacking. So that's trains. Here's the air then. So we have... Wow, we only have one vehicle on some of them. So this is the helicopter stop here that has like 700 people. Why is it going down so quick? Are people... Are people dying? What seems to be the issue? I don't know, but I'm going to up the vehicles anyway. To 11, the maximum that you can put onto it. No, they can't be getting transported that quick, can they? I don't think so. I don't think so. And the ones between each island, I'm going to put that up. To, oh, my good God. Right. I can put that up to three maximum. What is going on here? Where is this? 
This is on this is on the residential island. Holy smokes! <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, right. So yeah, we definitely need more helicopters on those routes. So let's set those back up then. So helicopters. We're probably just gonna put three on each one. Oh, that one can have four. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, this one can go up to three as well. So they can twenty people at a time can be transported to and from. Now we're gonna need extra routes, aren't we? We really are. Even if it's to a point where we're waiting for helicopters to like land and take off, land and take off, we might have to go down that route. So helicopters, helicopters, go to helicopter route. Um Right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna create a line from here. To Did I am I creating a line? I don't even know if I'm creating a line or not. Create there we go. Create a line to there to there and back. Create a line to there to there and back. So I'm creating longer lines now. Uh, create a line from there to there to here and back. So that's a, that's a loop between the three islands. Now I'll do the same for these ones again. So I've got quite a few more helicopter routes now. Oh dear God. Can I sort it by line name? Yeah. So these new ones now then have three on it. I didn't do this one, did I? Yeah, yeah, I already sorted that one out. Um Line five is it I'm now on? Yeah. We'll up that to eleven. I'm just gonna go all out with the helicopters. That's literally what I'm gonna do. Line six. Go all out. I'm having helicopters for days right now, boys. Helicopters for days. All I want to hear is doo -doo 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 <laughs> with the helicopter noises. That's all I want to hear in this city. All right, up oh, that as well. So we've got a ridiculous amount of helicopters now on the scene. But the more I've got, the more that's carrying passengers and the more people are not waiting. Even though there's going to be so many people freaking waiting anyway. Oh, dear God. So the other islands are... Oh, my God. Look at this. I got a traffic jam of helicopters. <laughs> What have you done, Zodiac? What have you done? Look at them all. They look frozen in air, don't they? As they're just literally waiting to come in one by one and drop people off. We're slowly getting there. What's it like over here, anyway? Oh my good god, look at the amount of helicopters waiting. They're all coming out to go to those new lines. So they're not even fully over there yet. Right, are people still getting off the train? Yeah, not as many as before. So we now got 5,000 people over here at the minute. Which is kind of ridiculous. But we're still losing money. Which is not good. Now we need to do stuff that's going to spark kind of growth in a way. So we're going to need an export area um, for the industry. So let's sort that out then. We'll do like a shipping route. Uh, we'll do a small cargo harbour if I can squeeze one in somewhere. Where would it allow me? It would be best if I did it on a corner or... Something like that, a nice, yeah, like a piece like this, so. Let me just delete that. To kind of build that. <laughs> as awkward as, as that is. There we go, but it provides us with a, a, a an export route. Which is very important for, for this to uh, get rid of the goods. I might need the same for the commercial island as well. So I might... Okay, if we anarchy one in. Like that. Use the touch it mod to unhook it. Delete. That's it. So that also has... 
an export area as well so at least they can import and export goods and they can't moan on that front because nothing's all connected it's kind of awkward isn't it so we're going to see a lot of vehicles now on these two islands as goods come in and out I, I, I don't know why I did this one like that. It's very awkward. Wow, a lot of goods. Because they were all pretty much complaining that there's not enough raw materials. But it's now all going to come in and those guys are going to love it. They're going to love it right now. So can we spark some upgrades? Um, so it's very weird why I can't place it on this road. I think it's to do with how the land's set up. I did one over there. I did one there. Just kind of bring in a little bit of leisure. Leisure, leisure. Merge it through the school. And through the uh, the garbage plant. I think that's the, the best way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, where's the garbage plant? Over here. Again, just kind of create a little bit of leisure to kind of cause, hopefully, some upgrades. I think I've just merged one. A bouncy castle at the... <laughs> <laughs> at the heli um, helipad so when you when you're in queue waiting for the um, the helicopter you can bounce on the bouncy castle that's a little bit of fun that's good that's that's hilarious right okay so they're still getting all the goods in so a lot of the issues have slowly died down the only big issues I'm, we're now kind of getting is there's not enough workers for the amount of um, stuffs we have going on so hopefully it kind of this slowly starts to upgrade a little bit more. What's the only the um, education levels like anyway? Ah, uh, terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. So we'll just see how it goes. We've got traffic jams over here. Which, it doesn't really matter. Because it's only for cargo. we got all the uh, stuff going on. So I wonder what the most... The highest wait in line is. The highest queue for a helicopter pad is. It's got to be on the residential island, hasn't it? Where's the one over here? It's over here. No. Where's the one on this side? There's one just there. Yeah. Residential there. And where's the other residential one? Just here. Okay. So the, the, there's, there's more people waiting at the residential ones than any other pad. Which is understandable. It is understandable because they're all trying to get out to those islands. But holy moly. So we're now under 7,000 in population. I'm thinking, right, guys, there's always a really good way to kind of boost up the levels and make all of this upgrade, thus getting more population in the same amount of buildings. And it's to drop in the monument, which, actually, I can't even afford it. How much is it if I wanted to drop it? It's the, uh, not the Eden Project. It's not the Medical Center. The Hadron Collider. It's 800,000. Now, we are slowly making a little bit of money. But it's not going to be enough, is it? It isn't, no. So maybe I um, kind of bulk out the island a bit more. And try and get... Like, this road here, like, why couldn't I not zone it before? Why can I not zone that road? Oh, okay, now I can. I've, I, I don't know why I couldn't. It, it, it happens on a couple of other islands as well, doesn't it? If I... No, don't do it like that, boy. No, I don't think it works on that one because I kind of need to generally expand the land a little bit more. But if I just kind of bulk it around the edges. Right. Just so I can add in a little bit more houses around the edge of the roads. Where do we stand with that? So if I upgraded the roads, I mean, apart from causing some flooding. Oh, don't tell me I've created tunnels. Oh, no, I think it's just because it's kind of, it is technically underneath. Oh, dear God, I've actually caused flooding. I've actually caused freaking flooding. All right, let me uh, smoothen off these edges so we can create a runoff for the water. There we go. Right, get out underground view. You shouldn't be underground. But it's like we're going to have to stay that way. Right, upgrade these roads. Alright, it doesn't delete any buildings, which is good. It is providing us with that zone ability. So, with that said, pump it over there for a bit more residential. 
Because that's what the city needs right now, is more people in, so more people can work. Um, might have to create some more helicopter routes. Maybe, maybe not. we still got the traffic jam, haven't we? Yeah. And by helicopter routes, I don't mean more, like, actual landing pads. It's more like, you know, actual routes like this. To bypass stuff through. So, you know, they're not waiting as much in the same place, if that makes sense. And yeah, helicopters are using different, like, ways and stuff like that, so... I mean, you're not going to solve it, because we do have a ridiculous amount of helicopters <laughs> for the, 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 the space that we have. Uh, but if I can slowly increase my money, and if I can buy that Hadron Collider, it provides a lot of education, and then we get a lot of upgrades. And that is kind of what we're waiting for at this point. Um, I might kind of take a risk right now and do it. Might loans get a loan out like that. Uh, Hadron Collider. It is the one that does the education, right? Yes, it is. Drop that down there real quick. Now, we probably are going to lose money for quite some time right now. But what we do is we watch in the education levels. So as they continue to rise, you don't want too much uneducated. And I think that's about right there. So I pause, then delete. Right, get some money back there, a little safety net. Listen to this. The amount of upgrades that we've now caused. And all those upgrades create bigger buildings, and then we'll see a huge influx in our people. So just bear this in mind. We've just crossed 10,000. Let's see where this levels out. After all the ding linging we've managed to get it up to 17,000 in population with the same amount of buildings, which is um, quite phenomenal. <laughs> it's quite phenomenal. I've added in another little route uh, from here, just simply to here, which by the looks of it right now, it's slowly starting to build up. I don't know, I don't know if we're managing it, whether it's just on the cusp enough. I think everyone's just kind of choosing to go to these ones, really. <laughs> Uh, but let's see how much money we're making from helicopters then. So we're making, well, $500 from um, public transport in a way. How much is it costing? It's costing us 5000 <laughs> 5000 a week in freaking expenses to run these helicopters. It, you could probably argue, Sadiac, you've got too many helicopters on the route, but hey-ho. It is what it is. If I didn't have enough, if I had like the right amount, someone would still know that I don't have enough. But it's just nice to see traffic jams, mate. It's just nice to see some freaking sweet traffic jams right now as we transport from island to island via helicopters only. The industrial island is taking a beating right now because it can't export goods quick enough. It could really do with another export area. What if I throw one on the other side? I think they'll quite like that. Um, right, drop that there. Unhook the road. Delete it. And then the industrial side will just grow back. But they've got, an, as awkward as that is, they've got another area to kind of export from. The commercial side doesn't really use it that much. Sometimes you get a ship come in, sometimes a ship leaves. Not as much as the industrial side, but at least they've got another export area right now. To kind of get rid of their goods. Disperse the traffic a little bit more. And uh, that should satisfy them. As they'll have more buyers for the goods then. We can get more goods off the island. The commercial is now slow taking a bit. And there's not enough goods to sell. That's literally just waiting for a freaking ship to come in boys. That's what you got to wait for. That's what you got to wait for. It's okay for shoppers. I'm actually quite surprised with how not... They're not complaining about there's not enough customers. So to some extent, having all these helicopters is is somewhat bringing in the custom. It's kind of keeping this island afloat at the minute. Again, their only complaint is not enough goods to sell. Maybe that's what it is. If they had enough goods to sell, <laughs> maybe they'll complain about there's not enough customers. Who knows? Not enough goods to sell. Yeah, here comes a ship right now. So they'll import the goods and then they'll have some goods to sell. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. It's just the, the ships don't come in quick enough for the commercial. Okay, maybe I'll tell a lie. We wait all day and two come at once. 
<laughs> That's kind of weird, wasn't it? Uh, how's the industrial island? Yeah, the traffic jams are now dispersed. As we're now selling or getting rid of the goods. Which is quite funnily good. So, does it work? Can you transport them only via helicopter? Well, as it stands right now, yes you can. I wouldn't recommend it, and quite frankly, we're making quite a bit of money in profit. Not sure where that's coming from. I think that's solely coming from... Let's check out where that is actually coming from. It's coming from the residential, and I think that's... Yeah, it's purely down to the fact because it's been upgraded so much. Um, I did kind of cheat by throwing in the um, Hadron Collider. But it does work. Your commercial and industry does not like it. And if you can put up... Well, we've got minimal traffic. We've got so many parked cars as well. But if you can put up with these huge waiting lines... And if I built it a bit bigger and made it a lot more efficient and more stops, then it would work. But then again, I do have like nearly 20,000 people trying to like fly on a helicopter that, that has a capacity of 20. I even checked the advanced vehicle options for it as well. You can't like you can change the jet plane capacity. You can't even change the passenger helicopter. How poop is that? Absolutely poop right now. But I answered the question to nobody that asked. If you rearrange that sentence, it makes sense. And I'm going to say, yeah, it's been a success. But it comes with its downsides. It does come with its downsides. And if you can part with that, you could potentially create a city that only transports people by helicopters. <laughs> Hope you guys did enjoy this pointless experiment. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So... Good. Bye.